So here we are, we're going to the centre. This is Sunday morning, very busy day yesterday. I didn't get much time to do any video. Um, well, that's a full first day. Uh, the French rather brazenly came assaulting out across the middle here, between Aspen and this thing. <coughs> um, the cavalry divisions of the Mara uh, not Mara La Salle and Maralas and uh, Despania actually got right up onto this ridge here and were fighting the Austrian cavalry. All the infantry was in square, so effectively pinning them quite a bit. I think it's fair to say the cavalry melees looked to go in the way of the French, so they had the upper hand on that. Gradually over the day, weight of numbers began to tell. The French were still in this area here and here toward the end of the first day uh, and then withdrew beyond the dike back into this area here. So uh, Lance Corps managed to cross during the night, as did the guard. So they're now deployed on the table. Guard here in the middle, moving forward to assault the Austrians as they're attacking again, very much in uh, Napoleon style, is it right? So the, there was so much pressure on the centre of the Austrian position with the cavalry pinning the infantry in place and getting the upper hand on most of the melees that um, the villages of Aspern and Dessling didn't actually come under much, much of an attack. Um, certainly Aspern had a bit of a, a, a fight going on for it. They tried to get in through the church um, unfortunately, they didn't get beyond the church. Got they, they didn't even get into the church. The French held the, the ground. Austrians fell back. Um, I think there were two or three assaults against the, the village, none of which succeeded. So today, with all the reserves in place, this is now turn three. They're about to do turn four. <coughs> you excuse all the war game debris, the quick reference material, roster sheets, pencils and dice, and tape measures. That's after I've done a quick tidy up. <laughs> and here's the granary at Essling. Comes as an MDF kit ready painted, well apart from the roof, I've just put uh, tiles on the roof. My friend Sarah Wafel actually did all the tiling for me, she's, uh, she's great at that, she's got a great hand for, and eye for getting everything to neat and tidy. Um, and then I just had to paint it and dry brush it. I've got a bit of weathering on it yet. Uh, certainly, a, you know, a, a relatively, well, it looks just like the real thing, so very pleased with that. And then you've got the, the village itself. So the Austrians have started with a preliminary bombardment here. So the last three turns they've been firing at the village to impact the casualties onto the guys holding the village. But also, more importantly, reduce the defence factors of the village. I'll do another video later in the day. Um, just to show how that's progressing, where the whole battle is going. Uh, the Austrian Grenadiers are now in place. You can see we've got a division here, six battalions. Austrians are under some constraint as to how many orders they can issue to a division. So each division rolls an average die, and that's the number of actions, whether it be advance, charge, unlimber, limber, change target for a battery. Those are all actions that come off the average die. So it um, yeah, slowed things up a little bit for the Austrians. It meant the French hung on for a while. It 
So, we'll be back. Thanks for watching.